Hey guys, I felt like upcycling today and I um, <clears throat> have to get my paint. All right, so I had thought I wanted to decoupage on this <coughs> and as I laid the, the image on there, I thought, well, that doesn't make a lot of sense because obviously it's a rooster and that's a rooster. And did I want to waste this image on something that I didn't think was going to really make sense? So I got out stencils and I thought that would be fantastic. So I am going to use DIY's White Swan. And this is a really old paint. Um, so it's really thick, which is kind of good for this. So I'm going to put it over here on my little paper plate and I'm going to offload it and I've got it positioned where I want. So I'm going to hold it down. And I'm going to use the pounce method because the swirl method scares me. And I think this is going to come out really good. I like that the paint is extra thick because then it doesn't have a tendency to want to run under the stencil. So I just went around this morning and was looking at stuff and thinking, what do we have around here that needs upcycled? <clears throat> and there was this rooster and I also have a pig. So we're gonna upcycle the pig also. And then when I get them in um, the position where I want them, in the house, I'm going to do a little uh, slideshow to show you how I used the upcycled item. And these are just, um, I believe I got these from Hobby Lobby. These are from the old house where everything was pretty much farmhouse. And in this house, a lot of things are woodland and mountainy, so I'm going to be doing some of that stuff too. But this is for the laundry room, <coughs> and I left the laundry room farmhouse. So, ta-da! Look how good that looks. That looks awesome. All right, let's do... <coughs> well, that rooster don't want to stand up. He wants to lay down. All right, so here is the pig. And let me get, this one's one of those sticky ones. These are not my favorites to use at all. Um, but when I bought this, I didn't realize they even made sticky stencils. So let's let's see how this goes. I've used this before, so it works. But see how it sticks to the plastic. And I'm just. Ugh. All right, this may have to go in the garbage if it doesn't work because I don't like it. <clears throat> I have another stencil that I could use on this, but let's see if we can make, because I think it would be cool. Oh, look, it kind of went into place there. It 
six. That looks good. Uh oh. I just laid my elbow on that one. <laughs> okay, so let's kind of, <clears throat> since it's kind of sticky. All right, here we go. And I have it on this, um, I guess I could take it off of this because I don't need to spin this around. Anyway, I thought it was super fun to just go around and see what we already had in the house. And I have some other items besides these two. I just thought I'd start with these two. And I'm really glad that when we moved from the city up to the mountains that I didn't get rid of my stencils. Because I did get rid of a lot of stuff. Now, honey told me there are boxes of stuff that say vintage in the garage, and I don't know what's in them. I'm wondering if it's also like items I had thrifted that I couldn't part with. Um, probably so. And <clears throat> honey reminded me yesterday, it's probably not gonna be until June before they can start building, building my building because uh, we got several feet of snow over by the area where my building's going to go and it's got to all be melted and then after it's melted, <coughs> he's got to um, kind of level that area before the people come to to build it. I'm sure you guys have all seen people stencil, but <clears throat> I really wanted to kind of just chat and also to be able to show you how I utilize these afterwards. And I'm um, I'm glad the stencil is working out because I really like this um, font. All right. Oh, but these are hard to clean. Ta da! Oh, that looks great. That looks great. Okay, let me find some other stuff. I'll be back. Okay, here's my next project that I found in my stash. This is obviously thrifted. And since I kept it, I didn't care about that. But I'm going to paint this because this is definitely dated. Oh my goodness, there is, there's tape on the side. <clears throat> I'm gonna tell you, I wasn't gonna clean this and the reason I wasn't going to clean it is because um, <clears throat> this will just give it texture and DIY paint will adhere to anything. So I want this to look like a crock. <clears throat> so I'm going to use DIY Sandy Blonde and here's the top and this is where this Lazy Susan is going to come in handy. I covered it but you know what I'm just going to take this off. It's, this Lazy Susan is going to be I mean it's a nice Lazy Susan but I'm just going to make this my paint lazy Susan because that was a big waste of time. And 
big waste of parchment paper. So this will just be my Paint Lazy Susan and I mean, honestly, when I bought this, I wanted to paint it and stencil it or decoupage it or something, but <clears throat> I just decided. So, here we go. Oh, that's going to be that's going to be a pretty good color for crop color. I know there's somebody out there going, no, don't paint that. But <clears throat> like it goes with their collection or something. So I want to get all of this at the bottom. said I don't really care about the bottom because <coughs> this is gonna be mine but as I'm kind of getting back into this I want to be mindful of what I need to do when I am creating and it's not for me so this is obviously gonna take two coats finish up this first coat and then let it dry this has got this like little stopper thing that goes in there because it's supposed to be like a, a milk a butter churn is what it's supposed to be a little mini butter churn having some running so <clears throat> I'm gonna get that taken care of because I don't want runs I'm so excited today <laughs> to be upcycling you know normally I'm paper crafting but now that I can have you know sometimes I don't feel like paper crafting I don't know why I just don't and then um, this gives me another avenue with which to create you know I might still feel like creating I just don't feel like creating with paper all right so you don't really need to watch me paint <clears throat> so I'll be back All right, so I have this second coated. Here is the lid. And I'm gonna go to town on this. So I wanted you to see what it looked like before. This fabulous paint job. And this one has a really nice lid. So I'm gonna paint this and then I'll show you. <clears throat> then I'm gonna wait for them to dry. Um, and then we're gonna do some decoupage. So there you go. Okay, both our pieces are completely dry. And I like how this has a lot of texture to it. I did do a, a you know, I brushed it across and then I did some stippling on it. So I like how, I like how it looks. So I decided on this piece, <clears throat> I was gonna use this cow. And I'm gonna take my my little brush and I'm gonna um, use water to go around the image this is not my technique this is like been out there forever but I really like it <coughs> because um, you know it doesn't have cut lines like scissors would So I'm going to use this technique, go all around my K. 
cow. Okay. And then I'm going to start pulling the image away from that wet area. And it comes out looking much more natural. than if you cut it. So I haven't decoupaged in many, many years. So this is going to be interesting. <laughs> okay, there we go. And we got some fibers that are sticking out. All right, there we go. <clears throat> so I'm gonna go ahead and take this out. And I, I will tell you, I did decide to go ahead and paint the bottom. So I cleaned off the sticker from Goodwill that had been on there. Uh, because even though I'm creating this for myself, I might at some point decide that I'm tired of this and <clears throat> when we have our booth again, just put it in the booth. <coughs> so I, I thought to myself, well, you need to be sure you do the bottom. So I am going to use uh, Debbie's Design Diary DIY Liquid Patina, which is what the experts recommend. <coughs> and I'm going to take that and I'm going to pretty much paint it on the back of the image. Funny story about this brush. This is an old makeup brush and I didn't use it anymore because I don't wear a lot of makeup. And I was like, ah, it's, it's a pretty nice brush. I don't want to throw it away. So I decided to use it in my craft stash. Okay, so I want to get all those little fiber edges. So I'm kind of just like flicking out like that. going to have some wrinkles considering it's a round surface, but it will go on just fine like that. And then we'll take some more of this liquid patina and we'll just go over Now I want my my little crock to still look um, matte. You know, I don't want it to be shiny. Ugh. I'm just going to I apologize for that. That happens a lot on Mondays. It's kind of weird. No, hardly anybody knows this phone number because um, we don't use it much. So in goes that I guess like a plunger that's supposed to make the butter 
and ta-da! What do you think? I love it. I'm thinking I might need to put a little bit more of this liquid patina medium. And then I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do with this decor that I'm working on today. And how different is that from that funky blue <laughs> image to now like a true farmhouse cow on there. I love it. Okay, <clears throat> all right, Mr. Cow, I'm gonna set you over there. And we have this container here. Also painted the bottom. Oh, look, there's a little bit that still needs to dry. <coughs> painted the lid. <coughs> I'm probably going to need to go over this a little bit. Um, this did not want to fit down in anymore, so I'm going to save this <coughs> for when I actually need it. So <coughs> I don't imagine anyone's going to really store anything in here. So, I took it off. At least I'm not going to store anything in there. And I want to use this paper. And uh, I'm really torn with what to use on here. Those two deer would fit really nicely. But so would, so would the farmhouse with the tree. I think I'm going to go with that. I'm going to go with that. All right, here we go. See if we can tear that off. Of course we can. So what do you think? Um, it kind of makes me want to stay. I wonder if we put this little deer, I don't know, it would be such a different size than that house. It wouldn't work. <coughs> okay, so where I'm going to put this, <clears throat> the top isn't going to show because you could decoupage on this top as well, but not, not, it's not going to show. So I'm not going to worry about that. Doing the top. And I'm going to go ahead and put my... Um, liquid patina and I love the silicone mat for the top of my desk so I can protect it from all these different products So it's nice and wet, so it's easy to adhere. And you can move these a little bit 
after you've laid them down, but it's, it's kind of hard to do. So I am going to seal coat these after with a, a matte sealer. I don't want my project to be shiny. I want it to stay matte. All right. I think that looks really nice. Gosh, I love doing this. I love transforming this stuff. It's so fun and easy to just take something that somebody had thrown away at the thrift store and make something that you can enjoy out of it. <clears throat> so there you go. So simple. And I'm going to, like I said, show you some videos after of these few projects and um, yeah I might do a couple more we'll see thanks for watching